Everyone, it is Friday, April 4th, and um, I'm coming to you with just a real quick update video because I think it's been like a week since I've done another video. I think my last video was kind of like my wrap-up videos and what I was going to read for the month of April, and um, so I haven't done a video since then, and the reason why is because um, the weekend after I filmed those videos, I went to Vegas with some of my friends and had like a girl's trip to Vegas. It was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed ourselves. And so I've just been recuperating this week from, you know, my Vegas trip and then, you know, just kind of trying to relax. And I had a really emotional week last week. And then my kids will be coming back. And so I'm just trying to enjoy my little bit of time um, just being home and not really having to worry about having my kids at home. And so, um, and then too, I just really didn't have a whole lot to talk about. So, um, I didn't really film any videos. Uh, and so I just really wanted to do like an update really, really quickly. Talk about some of the things that are going on in my reading and knitting and all that stuff like that. And just say, hey guys, I'm still here. I'm alive. Um, so I, uh, said that for the month of March, I was going to be reading nonfiction books and um, I talked about the books that I had planned on reading this month. Um, you can check that out on my channel. Um, but I said that I was going to start reading The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Uh, but when I went to Vegas, I was like, no, like I want to bring something light and fun and, you know, that I want to read. So instead I started Bossy Pants um, instead of starting The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And I finished it actually a couple of days ago. Um, it's right here. So, uh, Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. Um, it was really funny. And, uh, it was a really cute book. I love Tina Fey. Seriously, she, I think she's my Patronus. Um, I love just the way her mind works. And like I said, I, I really identify with, uh, her character on 30 Rock, Liz Lemon. And so I knew I was going to enjoy this book. And I did. It was a very easy read. It only took me a couple of days to get through it, which I love books like that, that you can just read them get right through them. They're not super heavy. And um, it was just a really, really fun read. I really, really enjoyed the book. I think I gave it a five out of five stars because it was just so funny. And I love it when books can make you laugh. I didn't want to do a whole review on just this book and do a video just on this book because honestly, I've kind of gotten myself out of before when I first started doing these videos. I was like, oh, every book that I read, I'm going to devote a review to. But honestly, some of them really, I just don't feel like they're really worth doing an entire review toward, uh, especially if it's just a light read. And, and this particular book, there's not really a whole lot of plot. There is no plot really to talk about because it's autobiographical. She's just talking about her experiences with, you know, 30 Rock and motherhood. I mean, the, the book kind of is just all over the place about um, her life experiences. And so there's not really a whole lot to really talk about. But I will say it was a very fun read, very easy, um, super funny. There were so many times that I read this book and just cracked up hysterical laughing. And I loved reading this book because some of the stuff that I read in this book, I was just like, no way, there's no way that this is true. Uh, I just can't believe this. But some parts of my life or some stories I, that I tell people and they're just like, what? Like that really happened to you? And so it was really funny um, reading someone else's life and going like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that really happened. But it, it, you could just totally tell that, you know, Tina Fey, that would happen to you. And so she, I just love how quirky and awkward and, you know, she is and, um, and how unashamed of that she is. She just knows that about herself. And that's pretty much what the book is about and just the way she thinks about things. And so it was really, really a fun read. And so I encourage you, if you want a, a book that's going to make you laugh, Definitely pick up um, Bossy Pants by Tina Fey because this book was really, really good um, and really funny and super quick. Um, I am currently reading The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. Um, I'm only three pages, uh, three um, chapters into it. I just started it recently, but I can tell I'll probably do a review just on that book because I'm already, it's so fascinating and it's just it's just a, I'm already really, really into it and and um, just all the ethics that go into medical testing. And I, I, I know that this is definitely going to be a book that's going to make me think. Um, I'm probably going to have a lot to say about it. And so I probably will do a review on this book and have a video review just on this particular book. And so I'm trying to try to save the video reviews for books that are really, really, really poignant to me. So, um, and I can tell even just three pages into this book that it would probably, it's probably going to be one of those kinds of books. But, um, I like it. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's definitely a very fascinating read. 
So I would encourage you to pick it up if you're looking for a um, nonfiction read that you you want. If, if you're not someone who reads nonfiction a lot, I, I almost never read nonfiction. So I'm really glad that um, I chose this month to kind of read some nonfiction books and kind of broaden my reading horizons. And so, um, and I think as women, you know, we should read this book because it has a lot to say about cervical cancers. And um, I think just as an individual, it's a good book to read because um, especially I've learned this with dealing with my son and his cancer, you know, becoming your own medical advocate. I mean, a lot of times you think that doctors have your best interest at heart. And for, for the most part, we would like to believe that they do. But, you know, sometimes... Um, in the name of science, you know, and, and research, and sometimes, honestly, just their own pride, uh, they don't. So um, have your best interest at heart. And so um, the, I can tell that this is going to be one of those books that are very um, eye-opening to the medical community, and also how they view uh, their patients with regards to their economical status. I mean, I, I can just tell that there's just going to be so many um, things in this book that are really going to be very eye-opening and cause some real, uh, for me, um, oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Some real, you know, like, a, ah, like my brain is not working right now, but it's going to cause me to definitely analyze, uh, you know, my um, interactions with doctors and, you know, dealing with my son, dealing with my own personal health. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting through this book, and so I'm enjoying it. So there's my update with my reading. It's going very well for the month of April. I'm super pleased. Um, my goal on Goodreads is to read 20 books this year, and I think I'm like 16 books in. So I'm super, super proud of myself. And then just a really, really quick knitting update, because I didn't do um, uh update for what I was going to be knitting for the month of April, because when I filmed my videos, I kind of really didn't know what I was going to be knitting for the month of April. And so this is actually kind of a funny story. Me and my husband were walking out of our apartment complex and we saw a beanie on the ground. And it was actually a really cute beanie. And um, he was going to pick it up. And I was like, babe, don't pick that up. Like, I was like, you don't know who's been wearing it. Like, I'll make you a beanie. And he was just like, well, I want to be able to wear it this year. Because I'm horrible when it comes to making things for people. Like, they'll be like, oh, make me this. And I'll be like, yeah. And then they'll get it, like, three years later. So he was like, I'd like to be able to wear it this year. And I was like, whatever, babe. Like, I'm going to make you a beanie. Like, I'm going to get started on it now. And I'll make it for you out of some, like, yarn that I have, scrap yarn. So I am started on this beanie for my husband. See, it's nothing fancy. It's just a knit to pearl to bottom and then it's going to be green and I'm just going to knit with the green until I run out of the green yarn and then knit with the red because my husband is black power and those are our colors red black and green so um that's what I had and I was like ah, like I'll knit this for him so that's what I'm working on now I should be done with this pretty quickly because it's like nothing special so that will be my project for the month of April so honestly I'll probably start another one because I should be done with this in by the end of this weekend so yeah that's my knitting update my reading update I'm still here I'm alive I'm kicking it and enjoying my break from my kids and I really enjoyed my trip to Vegas and um, I haven't honestly even been watching a whole bunch of other people's videos which really really sucks because I love watching videos and seeing what people are reading, but I just haven't really had the time. And I've honestly just been kind of taking some time to just kind of chill and draw into myself. So, but here I am. Um, I will talk to you guys later and have a great, great, great weekend. Bye-bye.